Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is part two of a three part series. If you haven't watched the previous one, I highly recommend you do so. It was a simple way to stop punches. I'll make sure to post the card up here before the end of this video. So today, it's all about a simple way to stop kicks. Now the kicks that we will be dealing with are just common kicks you will see in street fighting. So guys, let us not waste time, let's get started. Okay guys, technique number one. So on this one, we're dealing with a front snap kick coming towards the groin. Now, because it's a self-defense scenario, many times we're not ready for that kick that's coming towards us. So a good alternative is to take a step back and deal with this kick using a back fist on the foot. If you do this technique towards the shin, you'll end up hurting your hand. So that's why it's really important to get the right distance. The snap kick will come straightly towards your groin, so make sure you buy some distance, stepping away. Now, with a counter attack, let's say the person wants to follow up with a straight punch, you can easily use a park cell, and as you deflect that punch, you can kick towards the groin and then follow up with an arrow punch. Great, technique number two. This time we're dealing with a round kick. Now, the round kick could be a low kick coming towards your thigh, round kick to the ribs or to the face. Now, because in a real self-defense environment, we don't know where the kick is coming towards, so it's really wise for us to cover the whole area with the shin, the elbow, the knee, and the forearm. I'll be using a langer tansel, and then I'll follow up with a pakta. Awesome, technique number three. This time we're dealing with a front push kick. Now, for this particular attack, we've got many different options. The one that I'm showing you today is a very safe option. So what we're gonna do here is just jam, covering and jamming with a bongo kwansal. Then, as soon as you see that leg that the person is kicking us with come down, that's when we're going to counter and stomp kick. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. There's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.